like that raggedy best friend that disappears and leaves the group chat on red and then come back like I never missed a beat because that's what best friends do, right? You ain't got to talk to them for almost a month, three weeks to be exact, and then we just pick up like we never left off. So welcome back, YouTube. And for those who are new here, hi, my name is Noah. I am a spiritualist and on my channel, we talk about death, true crime, spiritual reparations, haunted people, places and things and how you can what? Fuck around and find out. If you are not following me at this point in your YouTube life, what are we really doing? And if you are following me and your notification bell is not on, I'm sending you a virus. No, JK, just kidding. Turn your notification bells on. On today's episode, we will be exploring the weirdness and the phenomenon behind ghost photo bombs. What is a ghost photo bomb? That is whenever you take a seemingly normal picture and then you go back and look at your picture and there's a whole ghost in it. Because this happens more than you think. And we're going to watch some TikTok videos that give the receipts. Before we even start this episode, I want to show gratitude and thanks to all of my subscribers, followers, patrons across all my platforms for being so patient with me. As you can see, we're in a new background because we're in a new house, more space, more studio time and all that good stuff. So I was moving y'all and it was taking up a lot more time than I wanted it to. So my clients that waited on their readings, my patrons who went weeks without any content, YouTube, thank you, thank you, thank you. And a very special thanks to all my friends who called in last week whenever I was over at the studio with Austin, called into the Calls from Beyond Colin show, which your girl is the official co-host for. Meaning that I will be there every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You will have to convert the time zones, y'all. But I'll be there every Friday to listen to your spooky, true crime, cryptic, spiritual reparation, haunted people placing a thing story. So call me now. This first video scared the shit out of me. Okay. And why do you make these type of videos, Noah? It's because some of y'all think the spiritual realm is for play play and it's absolutely not. This shit be real y'all. So let's go ahead and get into it. This first video was uploaded by an account called OMG 2.0 and it's of a group of friends on a roller coaster who accidentally either brought an extra occupant or the extra occupant wanted to have some fun themselves. Y'all look. The ghost paid her admission. She was getting on that ride regardless. That was creepy. This next video was uploaded by a user called DTB underscore Flocka. And it shows a woman doing a innocent, when I say innocent, review of like a soft drink or whatever. And something was in the background. Y'all tell me what y'all think. So for today's drink, For today's drink. Hey, that girl's my spirit animal because anytime I've had to score up with something that was otherworldly, that was me. I'm running into it like Popeye. Square up. This next video comes from the same account, the DTB Flocka, and this one's even creepier than the first one. It's from a ring doorbell camera. Which I'm noticing Ring picks up all the tea when it comes to the paranormal. Because this, this one right here. Y'all watch. Let me in.
first of all, if anything ever tells you to let it in, do not. I think I've taught y'all enough to know that that is a setup. You are about to become a lick, baby. If you let anything in that you cannot see that says, let me in. Secondly, did y'all see that ghost at the end of that video? She was transparent. I could see the panels on the house through her skirt. I don't know. Do y'all think it's real? Comment down below if you think it's real or not. This next one is really good and I'm really hoping I don't get copyrighted on it because it's so good. It had me fooled. It's of a security camera, again, catching something in the background. I thought there was two people sitting on that couch chilling, watching this man bring his package in, but it wasn't. Y'all take a look. To point toward the inside of the house. When I opened the door to see what was going on, I noticed my package was damaged. I wanted to see if it was because the guy dropped it or just it came destroyed. So when we went back to see how the package showed up on the video camera, that's when we noticed it. What they notice is this. Watch closely. Do you see it? Here, next to David's wife. A chilling figure with a skeletal face and black hooded robe. As David moves around the room, he blocks the camera for a few moments. But when he steps out of the way, the frightening figure is still there. It seems as though someone or something is seated next to the mother on the couch. And when you zoom in, there definitely seems to be facial features, hair, a seeming body. And the thing that's the scariest, the thing that looks the most garish, is the face. I mean, this did not look like a person. The face of this figure that's sitting on the couch almost seems to go back and forth between being pale and blank and almost like skeletal, like a skull with, you know, thick black hair hanging down over it. Whoever or whatever it is, it's certainly not seen by the woman. She may not have seen it, but she did feel it. My wife felt very cold and she was in pain. That video literally sends chills down my spine because that didn't even look human. What was that? Okay. And I forgot to mention, this comes from a creator named Selena Ortiz 8. I'm going to be tagging all the creators in the description of this video, but I was shook. This next video is of a ghost child. This was filmed in 2003 and it was uploaded by a user named Jonas Stabion. I probably said it wrong. I know it's Filipino. You know, I got my little roots back there. But it is of what looks like children preparing for either a basketball tournament or something. But something picked up someone else who was not seen to the naked eye. Y'all, watch. This may look like a simple, blurry picture of two kids, but if this creeps you out, that's because there's supposed to be only one of them. While preparing for a local amateur basketball competition in 2003, this footage was recorded on camera. However, this mysterious person was not seen by anyone at that time. Yes, this could be just another person, but it is argued that this figure has no shadow and is too dark even when facing the light. To this day, this mysterious figure is considered to be one of the clearest full body apparitions in the Philippines. But is it actually real? It's up to you to decide. Little homie said, y'all not starting a competition without me. I'm the one selling all the records. I would have cried if I seen this, knowing that this child was not there. No shadow, partially transparent. Mm. What do y'all think? This next photo that I'm gonna show you is crazy. It is of a group of friends. They look like they may be out in like a dark driveway maybe, or even a woodsy area. I don't know. But this full body apparition decided, cheese, I'm getting your picture. Y'all look at this.
not the ghost cheesing like it's supposed to be there. Because ma'am, sir, whatever you are, you were not on the roster to appear in this photo. The next couple of pictures, and they're really videos, but no, they're really pictures, but they're turned into videos. You know what I'm saying? Come from an account called Mike's Ghost Vids. And he has so many ghostly photo bombs. And some of the ghosts are like, and some of them are like, so just enjoy the next couple of them. Some of them will be muted because I do not want no beef with YouTube. I just don't. But y'all look at these and tell me if you think some of them are real or fake. I'm totally convinced that some of these ghosts just want to be acknowledged because they're not doing anything that would outwardly be scary, but it's still scary whenever you're scrolling back on your phone and you see these apparitions that you don't even know who these people are, let alone know that they're not supposed to be in your photo. It's just weird. This next video comes from an account called Top 15 Entertainment. And I'm not so sure about the validity of this one, but it still was creepy as hell. So I'm going to show y'all. I had to see it. You got to see it too. Two girls are alone in their house when one of them sees something in the doorway. Pause the video and you can see it's clearly the upper half of a young girl who is dressed in old-fashioned clothes from another time period. She is floating in midair as she curiously peeks in on the two children to see what they are doing. One of the girls still doesn't see the ghost. She shouts at something that's on television and accidentally startles the ghost away. The girl with the camera follows the ghost as it retreats. The ghost instantly teleports and now stares at them from the top of the steps. The scared girls run out of the house screaming. They stop only for a second to turn around from the street. They can see the ghost girl walking across the left window on the top floor. It vanishes and then suddenly appears on the bottom floor in less than a second. They scream even louder and take off again. Number 2. Stay out of the attic Back in 2008, a man started to notice some strange activities around his house. He would often come home from work to find his dogs cowering under the bed. Too afraid to come out, one of his dogs would only come out from under the bed for a brief 10 seconds at most before going straight back into hiding. Something was intimidating these large dogs badly. The owner starts to hear banging noises coming from all over his house. He begins to look around. He eventually traces the noise to his attic and goes upstairs with a camera for a closer look. Everything is completely trashed. Boxes are overturned and clothing is scattered everywhere. Something has violently flung all of his personal possessions all around. As soon as he goes back downstairs, he hears another huge bang and runs right back up the steps. He puts the camera down and searches the empty attic for clues. A nearby metal bucket falls over and he runs out of the room before he gets hurt. Another object hits the ground on its own and the camera moves to the right on its own too. The homeowner was too scared to look at the footage. He waited week before going back upstairs to get his camera. By now, he is understandably quite paranoid. He begins recording everything he does in his home, and it isn't long before he has more paranormal evidence. One day, his radio turns to static and a spirit orb rushes out the window. Later, someone violently jiggles the doorknob to the door that leads to the attic. The door opens and shuts by itself. The radio goes back to normal soon after. Things look to be going back to normal for a second, but then a paper towel roll suddenly flies up from the table to the couch, and the radio starts making more sounds again. The video recording starts to get fuzzy too, as if a ghost is causing electrical disturbances by passing by. Both of his dogs begin to look in the same spot as if they are following something. Whatever it was, the man was never able to physically catch it on film. He was only able to record its strange and oftentimes violent behaviors. Number 1. Ghoul School 
This footage comes from somewhere in the Middle East. A group of teenagers are curiously exploring an old school. They go up a flight of steps and pause when they hear a dog whining on the other side of the door. They all run down the steps and gather at the bottom. They're afraid of being attacked by a group of stray dogs now, but they decide to press on and explore the lower areas. The group finds bravery in their numbers and begins to joke and laugh again as they make their way down a long hallway. They open a door and find graffiti on the wall. Other people had been here before them. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. The teens grow a little more nervous as they continue to poke around. They are laughing less and starting to go silent. Something just isn't right about this section of the building. A YouTuber named Zobin Jaguar translated their comments. He says at this point one of the teens say that their phone shut itself off even though it was fully charged only a moment ago. Another person was able to keep recording, though they probably now wish they hadn't. They enter one classroom in particular and get a dreadful feeling. Suddenly a figure actually appears out of thin air and walks towards them. The ghost is missing his head, but there's somehow no blood. A loud chanting begins as soon as the ghost walks towards them, but this may be prayers from a nearby mosque. Amazingly, the group all appears to have missed the ghost, which explains why they calmly continue to keep exploring. They wouldn't see the apparition until much later, but when they did, they would never forget what was heading straight towards them in that room. I don't know, y'all. That seemed a bit clear for my liking. I like my ghosts to look like they use 2004 Nokias. Then I know it's real. But what do y'all think? This next video was uploaded by a account named Scary Teens. And it's of a woman FaceTiming her boyfriend. And he gets out the car and... Y'all, just watch. Madison Nicole was FaceTiming her boyfriend, who was inside his car parked outside a restaurant. When he went to go pick up his order, she was left alone on this call. But little did she know that she wasn't actually alone. As Madison was waiting for her boyfriend to come back, she saw something that scared the living daylights out of her. In the back seat of his car, she saw what appeared to be a face, but if you look closely, there's something off about this face. It looks like something unholy. Madison couldn't sleep after seeing this, and I'm assuming her boyfriend had trouble sleeping as well. I wouldn't be surprised, as this truly is the stuff of nightmares. Baby, I would have been out of there. Out of that FaceTime call, I would have told him, you can't come and see me, babe, until you cleanse. Till you cleanse. That is all for today, YouTube. But since I'm a roach and I know that I scared you guys, I'm going to put a complimentary picture of SpongeBob in. If you have a spiritual reparation story or any type of spooky, scary, cryptid, um, true crime story that you want me to cover, just leave it. I don't know what that was. Did y'all see that? Anyway, just leave it in the comments below or you can email me. I am trying to start a new project. So if you have those types of stories, please email me because I got something in the works for y'all. Y'all do good, be good, and stay safe.